the most distinguished person arriving to see the boat race was Princess Margaret, presumably as a Cambridge supporter, as Lord Snowden once coxed the light blues. It's a free country, so in lower circles, somewhat against the run of experience, hope springs eternal for Oxford. Being challengers, having lost last year, the dark blues had to be the first to put their boat into the water. Cambridge soon followed. The princess settled down in the umpire's launch with a start to finish view of the race, while ban the bomb demonstrators warned that the balloon might go up at any time. But surely not before the race. Cambridge won the toss, chose the Surrey station nearest the camera, and the race was on, both crews making a workmanlike start. Cathay cameras on the water had Oxford nearest in view, and it must have heartened the dark blue fans to see how well their men were settling down to the task of pulling the four and a quarter miles from Putney to Mortlake. Coming up to Hammersmith, the race had all the signs of being the best for some years. They were pretty well bow to bow. Cambridge now had the advantage of smoother water around the long bend and began to assert themselves. With the bridge behind them, they pulled with a will. Both the crews were again in rough water. Princess Margaret said afterwards, we got drenched, but it was worth it. And this was where the superior power of the light blues asserted itself. They went ahead in a way that meant certain victory. Oxford hadn't a hope. It was now only a question how many lengths would Cambridge be ahead at the finish. The dark blues were at least five behind, and Cambridge going well as they passed the post easy winners. <laughs> 